Hi, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a Khan Academy tutorial on trig identities from reflections and rotations. This was a special request video from the Chatha family, so thank you for requesting this. If you have your own request, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section below. So for this uh, activity, for this exercise, we need to understand a couple things. So let's just read the first question, I'll kind of intro what we need to know. On the following unit circle, theta is in radians and tangent of theta equals all of that. Negative 0.99 over 0.1 equals negative 9.9. .9. Then it shows you the unit circle. I'm going to talk about that in a second. And then it says, without a calculator, evaluate the following expressions to the nearest hundredth or as an exact ratio. So what we're going to do here is uh, first introduce some of these concepts. One, when you understand where sine, cosine, and tangent are positive and negative, in relation to the unit circle in the coordinate plane. So you see in the first quadrant here, I'm just gonna draw your attention to one at a time. In the first quadrant, all of these values are positive, okay? So tangent, cosine, um, and sine are all positive in the first quadrant. And if we go on to the second quadrant, let me label the quadrants as we go. So this is the first quadrant. In the second quadrant, we just have sine that's positive and then cosine, tangent are negative. In the third quadrant, we have sine, cosine are both negative, and tangent is positive. And then in quadrant four, we just have cosine that's positive, and the other two are negative. And the reason why that is is because sine is related to the y value. So above the x-axis, that's where we have positive y values. That's why we have uh, sine positive, because it's above the x-axis there. And then x is associated with cosine. So anytime we're to the right of the y-axis, that's where we have positive x values. And that's why cosine is positive for one and four. And then tangent is a little bit different because that is just the ratio uh, between the opposite and adjacent side. So if we have, for example, our x that's positive and our, our y that's positive, so that'd be our y over x, it's going to be positive, okay? And that's why it's positive there. But if they're both negative, okay, as indicated in uh, quadrant three, we have our tangent that's going to be positive because negative divided by negative is going to be a positive. And then we just have uh, one of those that are positive in the second and fourth quadrant, which is why it's negative, okay? Because negative divided by positive is going to be a negative. So that's kind of a quick intro on how we're going to do this. The other thing we're going to need, uh, well, actually, I'll talk about that later for question number two. Oh, no, we need it for this one. I'm, I apologize. So the other thing we need to know is how do we do these types of rotations? Because it's talking about our values. We have tangent of pi plus theta and then tangent of 2 pi plus theta. So what does that mean? Well, first thing I like to do is I like to understand that pi equals 180 degrees and then 2 pi equals 360 degrees. That's important because that's going to tell us where this angle moves. And so as we're doing these calculations, we need to know, okay, how far along the circle is it moving? And the other thing is, if we are adding angles, okay, so if we add theta, we're going to be moving counterclockwise, okay? And if we subtract theta, then we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're going to go this way. That's those uh, three pieces are basically all you need for this Khan Academy exercise. If you understand this right here, this right here, and this right here, we should be good. Okay, so just keep that in mind as we go along. You can reference this, rewind, and look at this screen. Also, having a unit circle might be helpful for later. But let's go ahead and use these three pieces to uh, answer this question. So we're, we'll look at tangent of pi plus theta first. So if we're looking at this angle, okay, I'm going to draw this. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to try to redraw it. Okay, so here's our location. It's giving us the uh, x value that's associated with the cosine, and then we have our y value that's associated with the sine, and that's why the sine's negative there, just as we said it was going to be. Okay, it's going to be negative. Now, and the reason why, uh, well, one thing we need to look at is if we're going to draw this into a triangle, that's where, you know, trig comes from, the triangle. Okay, it's going to look like that. There's our 90 degree angle. And uh, so if we're looking at the ratio, this is our opposite side to our adjacent side. So that's opposite over adjacent, which is why it is uh, how it is. And that's why it's also negative, okay? So everything we've talked about is present here. It's just telling us the tangent value. So 
the first one said that we are going to add pi. So we're going to take pi and then we're going to add our angle. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start on pi. So pi is at 180 degrees. So if we go 180 degrees, this is where we land on. So that's technically pi. I like to think of it as 180. Okay, so that's our starting point. We're going to start there. The first thing that it mentions in the question, okay, that first thing, it says pi. That's where we're going to start. I'm going to start on pi. Now it says that we need to add our angle. Well, our angle, we need to figure out how much our angle is approximately. It doesn't have to be exact, but I know that it's going to be somewhere around, okay, well, that's 270. If I go all the way there, that's 90. 90 is here. 180 is here. 270s here. So it's probably right around 280. It doesn't have to be exact, but we're just kind of approximate it here. So I know it's somewhere around 280 degrees. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start at pi, that's my starting point, and I'm gonna go approximately 280 degrees. So I'm gonna go here, that takes me to 90, then that is uh, 180, there's 270, and I have to, I'm adding, so that's why I'm going this direction, and then I have to go to 280. So I'm right in this section right here. So that's where my angle would end up. Okay, so if we're to redraw this after that rotation, it end up right here. Okay, now the value of the tangent is still going to be the same. Okay, it's still going to be somewhere around like 9.9. .9, okay, but now we just need to know is it positive or negative? And if we look here, we see that's going to be negative in that quadrant. See how we ended up in that quadrant after that rotation? So tangent is going to stay negative. Okay, so it stays negative. So for this one, we're just going to write in negative 9.9. .9. Negative 9.9. .9. Okay, so that's our first value. Second one, we're going to do 2 pi plus our angle. Okay, so 2 pi, where do we start for that? I'm going to show you this one's actually one of the easier ones. So 2 pi is here. That's the same thing as 0 or 360 degrees. So 0, 0 pi or 0 degrees or 360 degrees. However you want to think of it. So this is our starting point, and then we're going to go 280 degrees, just like we talked about before. So I'm going to go 90, 180, and then here's 270, 280. So you see we get at the exact same spot. So anytime you add 2 pi or subtract 2 pi, you're just doing a full circle, and you're ending up in the same spot. So again, it's negative 9.9. .9. So we're going to type negative 9.9 .9 here, and this should be good. Okay, so we're on to the next question. So on uh, the following unit circle pi is in radians. Which two of the following expressions are opposite of sine of theta? Okay, so our whole little diagram went away, but that's okay. Hopefully you guys can rewind if you need it. I'll reference it also a little bit here. So we just have to come up with uh, these different, we're going to look at these different scenarios and see which one of them matches up. So first off, we're talking about sine of theta. So we know that sine is positive in this area, okay? Above the x-axis sine is positive. So we just need to know which one is the opposite. So we're going to see which of these are going to be negative. Essentially, which of these are going to be below the x-axis. Okay, so we're just going to go through these different scenarios and see which one is below the x-axis. And that's it. So the first one is pi plus theta. Again, what I like to do is I like to approximate how much theta is. So you see here that theta is going to be 90 and then plus a little bit more, it's a little less than 180. So I can call this our theta approximately 150 degrees, okay? So if I'm gonna take pi and then add, I think that's what it is, pi plus 150, I'm gonna start at pi, which is 180. There's my starting point, pi or 180. And now I'm gonna add 150. So I'm gonna go all the way here, okay? Not quite to 180, right about here, okay? So that's 150 approximately. And I know that because 180 would take me all the way to 360, so I need to go a little bit less. Okay. Um, well, guess what? I'm below the x-axis. So this one is the opposite of sine of theta. That's one of them. Okay. Now, 2 pi minus theta. Okay. It's a little bit different. I said if we add 2 pi, that we do full circle. But what happens if we do 2 pi minus that? It might be a little different. So let's go ahead and analyze that. Okay. So I'm going to erase. 2 pi is the same thing as 0. So I'm going to start here. This is my starting point. Okay, zero, that's my starting point. And now I'm going to go minus 150. So I'm going to go this way. There's 90, almost to 180, 150, right about here. Again, I'm beneath the x-axis. So I know my sign's going to be negative. So I'm going to go ahead and put this one also. 
Now I'm gonna quick show you why the other two will not uh, be below the x-axis. So the first one is two pi plus theta, and that's essentially we need to do a full circle and you're gonna be good. Uh, you're gonna arrive at the same spot. So again, two pi is right here, zero, two pi, and I'm gonna do plus theta. Guess what, we end up at the same spot, okay? Plus 150 degrees, same spot. And the next one is pi minus theta. So here, I would start at, again, pi 180, right here, and then I go 150 this way, I'm gonna be above the x-axis, I'm gonna be right here, so that one's gonna be positive also, so it's just these two, those are negative. Next question. All right, here we go. Without a calculator, evaluate the following expressions to the nearest hundredth. Okay, so we're talking about cosine here. Again, I talked about cosine being equivalent to the x value, so we're interested in that 0.83. That's the cosine, okay? Um, and again, we talked about how cosine is positive in that area. Anytime we go to the right, let me highlight it. Anytime we go to the right of the y-axis, positive x values, positive cosine. So we're told that cosine is 0.83. So if we do, ah, we have to do these transformations. So let's, let's go ahead and do them. Again, let's approximate our angle. Our angle is approximately, we're gonna go 90. Okay, there's 90, 180. Keep going, 270. All right, and then we're getting close to 360. We'll call that, I don't know, it doesn't really matter. Let's call it 320. So 320 is our angle. All right, so we have 320 as our angle, and our first transformation is gonna be pi plus 320. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and erase these green marks. I'm gonna keep the 360 there. Keep in mind that I have to use 320. Uh, pi is the same thing as 180. That's my starting point. And then I'm gonna go 320. So I'm gonna go 90, there's my first 90, 180, 270, and then on 340 is right about here. Okay, so you'll notice that I'm not in the positive cosine area, I am in the negative cosine area. Okay, so negative cosine. So I need to just take my value 0.83 and make it negative. Negative 0.83, okay, and I think I, I'm gonna put a zero in front of it, just looks a little nicer. Okay, so negative 0 0.83, I'm in my negative cosine area. Now what about two pi minus it? Okay, so important here. Let's start at two pi, same thing as 360. Okay, there's my starting point. Let me erase my arrows. And we're gonna go backwards about 340 degrees. So let me get my green. We're gonna go 90 this way. Then we're gonna go, okay, again, the reason why negative, that's the negative direction for rotations. Uh, around the coordinate plane. So we go 90, then we go 180, then we go 270, and then 340 takes us about here. Okay, look, I'm in the positive uh, cosine area. Okay, so I ended up still uh, to the right of the y-axis, so it's gonna be positive 0 0.83, and there's my final answer. Check it, next question, we got one more. On the following unit circle, uh, pi is in radians, and tangent equals 4.9. All right, without a calculator, express the following. So first off, I recognize that this is about 80 degrees, okay? Again, it doesn't have to be exact. I just need to know that's a little bit less than 90, okay? It's more of the quadrant that I'm in. I mean, this could be 45 degrees for all I care, okay? But it's the quadrant that's important, and we're gonna do rotations based on that. But it's about 80 degrees. Um, so the first one is pi minus 80 degrees, okay? So pi, again, is about 180. So there's my pi, 180, and I'm going to subtract uh, 80 degrees. So I'm gonna subtract 80, and if I subtract 80, I arrive in this area, right about there, okay? Um, I'm annoyed, it should be a little bit closer, so right about here. Okay, so I have, there's my spot that I landed on, and you can tell that I am in the negative tangent area. Remember, tangent was negative here, and tangent was negative here, it's kind of like the funky one, diagonal from each other. So it's a negative tangent. So I need to make that negative 4.9 for this first one. Negative 0 0.4, no, it's just 4.9, there we go. Negative 4.9 for this first one. Tangent of two pi minus theta. Okay, so two pi minus theta, where am I starting? I'm starting at two pi this time. Let me erase this. Two pi is here, same thing as zero, or zero degrees. This time I am, am I subtracting? I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. So I'm subtracting. So I'm subtracting about 80 degrees. Oops, let me lower this just a bit. A little bit higher. 
here we go. So I'm subtracting 80, so I'm gonna write right about there. Guess what, I'm still in the negative tangent area. Recall that I had tangent negative in the second and fourth quadrant. So that's where I arrive, and it's negative 4.9 again, negative 4.9, and I should be good. And I'm done. Okay, so that's all there was to this uh, trig identities from reflections and rotations. Kind of tricky at first glance, but it's really not that complicated. Uh, I think the big uh, key critical component is making sure you convert it to degrees. I think it's a little easier to understand. And just knowing where sine, cosine, and tangent are all positive and negative. If you have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Wes Explains Best.